Hello, what is versioning? What is a version control system? What is a VCS? I'm trying to explain this in this video. If you just want to know how to use Git, check out the other videos. Okay, versioning. It's not that difficult. Imagine this is you and you want to write a bachelor thesis for your bachelor degree in the university. So what you do is probably have a kind of a Word document or an open text document. You write that thing, you call it maybe bachelor thesis. And what you do is you're going to hand it over to your professor. Let's say this is your professor and your professor is going to look at it and say, well, I don't like this part. Can you, can you please, can you please correct uh, like some parts? And what he's going to do is like, he's marks them. Okay, this needs to be fixed and this needs to be fixed. And your professor is smart and says, well, this is not, this is a different document than this one, right? So when he sends this to you, maybe as a, I don't know, as an attachment in an email, maybe calls it bachelor thesis two because it's not the same file as this one, right? So what you do is you check out what, what went wrong here and you create a, another document basically, or like you fix the old one, but you don't save it under this name because you still want to know what were the initial corrections that your professor did. You want to keep this like as part of the history, right? So what you're going to do is you call it bachelor thesis and add a three at the end, and then you give it back to your professor and your professor is going to look at it and maybe he gives it back to you and says, well, okay, this version is fine. You can use that one. And you get this version from your professor. Maybe your professor was smart again and adds another number and says, well, this is basically your know, bachelor thesis version four. And then you got this version four and you think, okay, that's the right version. Maybe, maybe let's call it something different. Let's, uh, to make clear that this is not some kind of random version, but this is actually the bachelor thesis. Let's say it's the final version, right? So you can call it like this. So this already is versioning just in a very simple way, right? You have, in the end, you have basically forgot the last file, right? So this is basically the same file. In the end, you have five different files, right? You have this, the initial version, the first corrected version, the, the first with like the errors, and then uh, you have a corrective version, and then you got it back again from your professor, and then the final version. So you have five different files on your computer, maybe in the same directory. The last one is called final. And when you, before you hand it over to the university, you print it out maybe and send it to them, right? You use, you're gonna use this file. But sometimes it's interesting to see like, okay, well, Maybe, maybe you did something wrong here or that, I don't know, some, some kind of nasty error. And then you check, well, did my professor actually catch up on this? So you can chill still look at this file and say, well, okay. Okay. Actually, my professor didn't catch up on this one. He should have. So I'm not the faulty one. Oh, whatever. So it's very important sometimes to keep the, the history of what happened before. And this is, like I said, this is versioning. If you, if we're talking about a version control system, that's basically something that does this but in kind of some like integrated way, right? The problem with this kind of versioning is that if you have your folder, let's say you have your folder on your computer, right? And let's use a little bit smaller, smaller brush. And like you have all these files you have for this, for this single one document, you have five different files, right? And imagine you have like, like hundreds of files. Imagine you're, you're, editing pictures or you, you're a professional editor, right? Then you will end up with like, thousands of files in here just because you have like 10 or, or, or 20 different files, right? Because you always have to keep up with these numbers. And also it's very difficult like to see what is the difference between this version and this version. So it's, it would be nice to have something like that's making this a little bit smarter. So what's happening is when you have a version control system is that you actually only have one single file on your computer. And the other files are kind of like in the background. They are like stored in like some kind of, um, you don't need to know how, but in some kind of database, right? Let's say this is like the, the latest version. Let's call it the latest version. And this is the latest minus one version. And this is the latest minus two versions. And this is like kind of, I don't know how to, how to explain this, but imagine this like, like kind of ghost versions that are like in the background, but you cannot like in the, when, when you open your, when you open your windows Explorer, you only see like this one file. But if you use the right tools, you can always access this one and you can always access this one. And also it's a little bit more sophisticated when we talk about something like, like Git or maybe um, SVN, what you might've heard of. These are version control systems. It's basically the software for the versioning thing, what we're doing here. And what you can do is, for example, when you, when you 
say, okay, this is one version. You can say, okay, this is the version uh, corrected from professor, right? Or this is the version fixed quotes or quotation, quotation, I don't know. So you can like make, make some tiny, tiny comments that like tell, okay, what, what's the difference between this version and this version? What was the, what was the change, right? What was the change between this version and this version? Okay, but we have one thing left. What is a VCS? Well, that's a version control system. The software that I just explained, the software for keeping track of all these version things here. Okay, that's it for this video. Check out the next one if you like.